Do you mind revealing your score? I got a perfect score. Oh wow. Nice. Are you taking the SAT soon? Do you need a higher score? You're probably stressed out, but don't panic because I visited the top universities, Harvard and MIT, to ask the students. What are your top SAT study tips? What are your SAT study tips? Try to speak with proper grammar the month before, and then when you take the English section, it'll be a lot easier to remember. Oh, okay, tips. okay. Yeah. Well, that's actually basically like applying what you're learning, in yeah, a sense, right? Exactly. You're speaking with the grammar that you're supposed to write with. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Do practice tests over and over again. It's um, sit down, have the timer, do the practice tests. I don't think going to classes for SAT prep is necessarily as good as actually solving through a pr practice test and like correcting it yourself because SAT prep places usually give you back corrected versions of it and it's different when you're doing it yourself I feel like it gets in your head more like oh that's why I got it wrong okay awesome I find a lot of students don't really know how to study for the SAT because the SAT is actually a test based on your functional skills so it's not really based on knowledge like the ACT is I think you should just take tests, take practice tests, and learn the skills, either reading passages or math, and do practice over and over again until you don't miss the same questions a second time. You'll get better and better scores each time. Just practice, just keep doing practice. Like, Khan Academy is really good. There's different sets of books that you could get. All I could say is practice. The more like you keep seeing the kind of questions that they ask, the better that you'll be equipped to answering those kind of questions. What kind interested. of books did you get? Um, Princeton Review has a pretty good book. I did use a lot of Khan Academy, if you guys are familiar with Khan Academy. Mm -hmm. College Board has a few books that I liked as well. Find out why you miss the questions from each practice that you do on the SAT. Figure out what's the link between what you did wrong and the right answer and change some kind of habit in your head so that you can do something different the next time you encounter a similar type of problem. And that's how you really like learn things in general, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just get feedback on what you did wrong and then do it the right way the next time. Yeah. Right? A couple days before the exam go over practice problems. Okay. I, th I think for SATs you should probably go over practice problems maybe like more than a couple days before the actual exam. Do not cram, take your time, set out a good work schedule. Because your brain is more likely to learn things when you expose it to it over a certain period of time than if you try to like cram things mm. over one night. Like that's that true. doesn't yeah, really work, yeah, you know? If you can't cram SAT you, in you one night. You can't cram <laughs> SAT yeah. in one night. Uh, like how long did you spend studying for the SAT? Maybe like a month, but not like super hard studying, just like taking a practice test here and there mm. a month. How many times did you take the SAT? I only took it once. Oh wow, that's awesome. How long yeah. did you take to study for the SAT? So the school I went to, we did practice SATs as an entire school. So we did a practice maybe once a year since I was like in the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. But I didn't take it too seriously until my junior year when I actually took the SAT. Okay. So did you take multiple times? I did take it multiple times. I took it twice. Okay. How many practice tests did you do roughly? I. I did a lot, but in a very short time, so I probably did 20 or so practice tests. Um, I took my SAT in the summertime, so I had a week off from school, and I just did a lot of practice tests that week. You did 20 in one week, <laughs> and then you just went and took the test? Yep. That's all your practice? I took it twice. Uh, the first time I also practiced a bit leading up to the test. Okay, wow, that's amazing. But I think the most important thing is uh, if you are already doing solidly in school in your classes, then you're, you're going to have the basic reading, writing, and math skills. So build that foundation. And that happens throughout your four years in school. Just don't stress out about it too much when you're actually in the exam. Um, everyone is also as stressed as you are, so... Or, it's as important to them as it is to you, so you don't have to feel like it's a huge burden to take, I guess. Did you stress? Um, not, not really. I, I think the more you prepare, the less stress you'll be, so that's, that's good. a tip, I guess. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're not defined by your score. Just do your best, and whatever happens, happens. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into your life and, and how you're going to work and things like that. And, um, uh, one exam, it's going to feel like the entire world is crumbling if you do poorly on one exam at one point, but it's not true. You're not going to remember it. 
five, ten years later. Before you leave, I have one more study tip for you. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss out on more juicy study tips. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Top three SAT study tips? That was like four years ago, I don't remember.